Welcome everyone. Up until the mid 90s, all of this was nothing more than desert land in Nevada. But in 1997, all of that changed when all of these houses started to be built. And there's one house in particular out here that I would like to show you. Have you ever heard of the television show, The Simpsons? Well, there actually is a real life Simpsons house, an exact recreation of the longest running television show's home here on this property. Would you like to see it? Join me, shall you? me in this subdivision, developers in 1997 spent $120,000 in 49 days of labor and actually studied 100 episodes of The Simpsons to create the real life Simpsons house. Originally when it was created it was called Springfield South Valley Ranch. Now in 2015 they have actually omitted and dropped the Springfield. But do not be discouraged and confused because right down there is the real life Springfield. The real life Simpsons house is right down here. Come on! The Simpsons house. Of course in the show the address was 742 Evergreen Terrace but in reality the address is 712 Red Bark Lane, and it's right down there. The Simpsons house. Once the house was completed in August of 1997, they actually put together a raffle, a contest, if you will. If your numbers match the numbers on the screen, then you win the real life Simpsons house. Good luck. And whoever won the raffle would either get the house, the Simpsons house, decorated in all of the colors, or $75,000. Once the winner was chosen, the person who actually won the house opted for the money instead of the Simpsons house. The Simpsons house was then sold to another owner, redecorated, but there are glimpses of the Simpsons past still in the house, which is absolutely amazing. And it's right here. Not in Evergreen Terrace, but in Henderson, next to Las Vegas, Nevada. Very interesting. As I'm walking down the road, you can actually see, you can actually see the Simpsons house. There it is, shonk -a -konk -a -konk 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 -konk. the Simpsons. That's it. When they first unveiled the house, Matt Groening himself actually showed up and drew a Bart Simpson, a graffiti-style Bart Simpson, right on the side of the garage wall. And also, adding to that, put his handprints in the cement and drew a Homer Simpson. The interesting thing is, even though Bart is gone, Homer is still there, right there in the concrete. Right there in the concrete. If you actually look at all the other houses in the subdivision, you will notice that none of them have a traditional shingled roof, except the Simpsons house. You will also notice that none of them have a traditional fireplace, except the Simpsons house. If you use your imagination and go back to the late 90s, you will realize that there used to be a tree house, Bart's tree house, behind the house and Homer's barbecue grill, which were part of the giveaway with the house. Of course, now, decades later, all that has been removed. And inside, there is no fireplace. If you look at old pictures of when the house was built, the fireplace is actually just a bookshelf. You could actually never set a fire in there. Of course, unless you were burning books, which, I think Bart probably wanted to do in school, because he did not like school. <laughs> there used to actually be a picket fence here at one time. Of course, the picket fence has been gone for quite some time. But when they did the promotional material for giving away the house, they actually had the Simpsons themselves, real life characters, standing right here. Or, of course, people in the Simpsons character uniform standing 
right here and you can see they've removed the paint from the house and the interior of the house is considerably different as well. The kitchen used to actually have the tiles and they used to have the famous couch with the tilted painting behind it. All that was inside and of course the new owners have removed all of that. The house has changed considerably over the decades. Of course you'll notice the bay windows which were modeled just after the TV show version house. You don't see these too often in this neighborhood, these bay windows. And check out that door, the circular door. It's not a normal rectangular type door. And also look at the fireplace, the chimney fireplace. You can see some little cartoony details. Like look at those fake bricks that are actually in carved in there that make it kind of look like a cartoon house. Can you see those little weird bricks? That's awesome. Of course, next to the Simpsons was none other than Ned Flanders' house. That house is not a recreation of Ned Flanders. But don't have a cow, man. This video is about the Simpsons' house. The Simpsons' house. Rest in peace, real live Simpsons' house. Of course, you're still here in some sort of facet or way, so forget what I said. You know what I'm starting to wonder? Look at the paint that is actually starting to actually poke its head through the newer paint job when they try to cover up the Simpsons colors. You can actually see on the side of the garage right there that orange reddish paint starting to actually pop through the simpsons are having their revenge house it's not the amityville horror house it's the simpsons house the simpsons are having their revenge go